that took a little too long to go live. There was like a weird pause that Facebook just did. What's going on? <laughs> My name is Erica R. Meyer of ericarmeyer.com. What is that deep breath for? It's like I ran a marathon or something. Not really. Voice over talent, owner of Reframe It Mindset Motivation, author of Reframe It, Rethinking Your Reactions to Life's Annoyances, a picture book for adults designed to reduce your stress level right away. I teach busy adults how simple shifts in mindset can immediately reduce your everyday stress, improve your health, and increase your happiness. And it was the loss of my father to cancer in 2015 that inspired that curiosity about positive mindset and how it might affect the physical body. And through that experience, Reframe It was born, as well as a Reframe It online course. The nice little, you know, supplemental component to this book that helps you actually implement it into your life so that it becomes natural to you. Positive thought. The course is so simple. The principles are so simple. You just gotta wanna do it. Coming back in 2019, the wait list is in the comments as well as the meditation component of the Reframe It course. Well, no, not the Reframe It course. The meditation component of the Reframe It brand. Hello. That is going to be, I'm, I've am been working on it today. There'll be no live broadcast tomorrow because I'm going to be really heavy working on it tomorrow. And I'm super excited to finally be able to bring it to you guys next month. Ah, I'm scared, but it's exciting share this out. Anyway, that deadline pressure though, kind of like picking up where we left off a little bit with the procrastination talk, which a lot of you guys chimed in and yeah, we're all in the same boat. We like try to, with certain projects and certain things that we're procrastinating on, we have a tendency to be real creative about how we procrastinate. Some of us start cooking. You know, my go-to procrastination is doing the dishes. Hey Mickey. Hey girl, hope you're feeling better. Mickey not feeling good. I hope she's feeling better. Um, my go-to procrastination is washing dishes and it's so like lame and boring, but you know, <laughs> when I want to put something off, that's what I go do. But I mean, again, we can get super creative with like, oh, let me start, you know, planning dinner here at two o'clock or, you know, just doing whatever. But along the lines of procrastination comes deadline pressure. They go hand in hand because Truth, to be honest, the the one surefire way, one surefire cure for me for procrastination is deadline pressure. Now, deadline pressure is twofold. It's twofold because there's self-imposed deadline pressure. E. Mickey says, watching from bed, feeling better, but not yet. Uh, okay, not 100%. Okay, I'll take um, 90%. <laughs> oh, I'll pray for you, Mickey, for real. But the deadline pressure is twofold. There's self-imposed deadline pressure, and then there's client-imposed deadline pressure. Which do you think can take one out of procrastination <laughs> more than the other? Self-imposed deadline pressure, while it's necessary for me to have, is also one that... Uh, you have a tendency to kind of start like mold and bend and shape and all of that. Yes, Mickey says, I love a deadline. It's really when I, it's when I really kick in. Yeah, I, 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 de a deadline is what, what moves me. Um, but so when I do a self-imposed one, like for this project that I'm working on, um, sometimes you're like, well, you, you have the freedom to kind of like finagle it a little bit. Be like, well, I can do it this I can, I can move it around a little bit. I can, you know, squeeze and, you know, manipulate and just basically you're giving yourself a false deadline is what it is. Um, just to kind of give your mind the illusion of one. Now a client imposed deadline, well, here you, there you go. All bets are off then. Because whenever I have, her, I have a client who, and, and I know that there's a lot of you guys who do this too, and I wanna know if you're one of them. A client will say, hey, I need this voiceover in, you know, 48 hours or whatever. I mean, hey, I'm like, alert <laughs> by a client-imposed deadline, right? Because obviously there's money behind it. And so 
they'll tell me I need it in 24 or 48 hours or whatever. When do you think you can deliver it? And I'm like, yeah, I can meet your deadline, 24 to 48 hours. I'm, but then I'm one of those that will over promise or yeah, under, what is, what is that? Under promise and over deliver. Under promise and over deliver. Who all among you under promises and over delivers? Cause I'll do that. I'll do that every time. And I tell you, this is one of the reasons why I'm one of the top rated talent on my freelance site because I'll always say, yeah, I'll get it to you sometime today. I'll get it to you, you know, tomorrow, sometime tomorrow. I'll get it to you, you know, within your deadline. And then two hours later, it pops into their inbox. And they're like, what, 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 what? They're like, I wasn't expecting it so soon. Wow, you're amazing. And I'm like, I, I knew, woohoo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I can do it as fast in like as fast as is in like 15 minutes if depending on the size of the project. So most people, I think 100% of the time have been like holy crap. That was fast. Didn't expect that. Client imposed deadlines, y'all. <laughs> that will get the fire in the behind going. Let me just say. <sighs> but yes, deadline pressure. That is the surefire cure to my procrastination. Uh, self-imposed, <laughs> sometimes. But really the self-imposed deadline pressure, it, is, it comes from discipline, right? You have to have the discipline actually to sit down and do it. That's the only way this thing got out into the open was actually sitting down and disciplining myself and laying off social media for like an entire, you know, all the mornings that I was working on it. Like, okay, no social media until I did my work. That was before I was using social media for business, mind you. <laughs> it's different now. Hello. Um, yes. Self-imposed deadline pressure comes with discipline. That all goes hand in hand. Self-discipline. You got it. You don't. Sometimes you do. You know, it's, it's just a mess. It's a mess. But bottom line, bottom line, the deadline, the deadline. Me, I work much better with deadlines. And it sounds like Mickey does too. And I'm sure some of you guys who, who watch and I want to know who responds better with a deadline or are there some of you guys out there who when given a deadline, you just like crumble, <laughs> you crumble and you crush and you hide, which is, you know, things we all need to work on too. If you have any questions about reframe it, you can go to ericarmeyer.com. Um, you can sign up for my email list there. Only one email goes out a week. And in the meantime, reminder, I'm not going out. I'm not going live tomorrow. I will be working on my self-imposed deadline. Thank you very much. Putting my money where my mouth is. I'll be writing all day long. So no live broadcast tomorrow. We'll be back on Friday with the life annoyance of the week. In the meantime, you guys have an amazing Thursday, Wednesday, amazing Wednesday. And <laughs> we'll catch you guys on Friday. Happy reframing y'all. Bye.